Hey everyone, it's Yogi, and today's gear review is on the Camelback, the model agent. And I was in the market for a couple months looking for a pack water reservoir that could withstand all the adventures that I do. The adventures that I do are a long hike, long walks on the beach, and a picnic underneath the moon and stars. Yeah. The adventures that I do are long hikes. I'm a downhill mountain biker, cross country biker, a century rider and getting into the field of hunting. So I need one pack that could withstand all of the adventures because I can only afford one pack. The Camelback Agent does just all of that. Before I start out, I was not sent this product to review. All the opinions are my own and I did spend my own money to buy this pack and I do not regret it. It is a pretty penny to buy the pack but it's worth it. It cost me $145 but when I get into the video, you could understand why I would spend so much for this pack. You do get what you pay for, and I definitely recommend not going a cheaper route if you are as active as I am and only want to spend the money for one pack to encompass all of the adventures that you do. So here's the Camelback, the model agent. Here's a close-up. This is called the color peat and the model's agent right there. Looking at the front of the pack, you can see there's a lot of zippers and a lot of storage, more storage than your mom or your girlfriend's Louis Vuitton hockey bag. And that's not the good news. The good news is, is that the, aesthetically, it can appeal to both the male and the female. On to the first part of the pack, there's a small pouch in front. So when you open it up, you can see there's an interior of a lime green color, which is my favorite, that's my favorite color. And right here you could store your keys, lock it onto here. And then right here is my just normal multi-tool, which is pliers, uh, knife, serrated knife, scissors. And then I always carry my Kershaw Tonto blade. And with all the adventures that I do, I don't know how long it's going to be, I do carry a bottle of Advil with me. So you have three cargo pockets out of mesh. And then on the lid of the pocket, there's a small little pocket that you can store anything that you want and with all the adventures that I do I like to store my rosary right here because you never know what's going to happen and it's kind of a really good insurance to have with you. Moving on to the top part, this is the clamshell. So you unhook the straps right here and it can open up and expand to a great amount of space for you to store anything that you like. In this pocket, I like to put anything that I need to quickly grab. I want it easily accessible, so I like to store my gloves in this pocket. Or you can put a jacket that you need, or your tubes, a bike pump, anything you need to grab easily, you can put it in the clamshell. The next pocket, which is right here up top, it is lined by the felt, so it's a great place to store your sunglasses so they don't get scratched up. And it even has enough room to store your goggles when you go on your downhill mountain bike ride. Moving on to the next part of the storage unit, this has two zippers which can open all the way down. Again it has the interior lining of lime green which I really really love and you have your two pouches right here and in this area I like to keep my food in here. I carry a lot of food when I'm on the trail and watch any of my hiking videos I carry a first aid kit and a foot care kit which is it comes in handy quite a bit when I'm going on a long hiking trip moving on to the next part is where the reservoir is stored here you have a three liter reservoir and an insulated valve the insulated valve helps to keep the water cold as it's in the tube I will say that the water in the tube doesn't stay ice cold, but it does stay pretty cold. As for the water staying in the reservoir, I do put three trays of ice cubes in here, and it has a wide opening, so it's good for easy cleaning, but I definitely like the wide opening on this reservoir because I could put ice in it. And when I left it in here with ice, it was ice cold for about four to five hours, which is pretty good on the trail. On the right side you have a little small storage unit which is lined with felt and it has a little color of lime green right here. Right here I like to store a multi 
bike tool which really helps when you want to adjust your bike seat right away or adjust your handlebars when they get pegged by hitting the tree trunks when you're going down. This is a really great place to put your multi-tool. Easily accessible and it keeps the tool nice and clean. Now to the back side of the pack. There's another storage unit right here and this is one of the selling points for me. When I was looking into a pack for me, I need to have a small pouch in the front. I don't like to take off my pack to get my food. I like to have my food readily accessible right here. And I live off of goo. I love goo. I swear by it. I take it with me when I go hiking, bike riding, and it just, I have to grab it right away. When I'm biking, I don't like to stop when I'm going to eat. And like I said, I do eat a lot when I'm on the road. So while I'm biking, I could just unzip this, grab my goo, eat it, and store the trash back in its pocket. If you don't want to store food in here, this would be a good place to put your cell phone if you'd like. Now onto the main part of this pack that I really, really love about it is on the back, it's the NVIS system, which means the New Generation Integrated System. What it is is the back panels right here push against your body, which allow for better airflow. And I can definitely tell you, this is the pack that I want on my back on a very hot summer. But moving on to the back panels, it was definitely helpful when I did a ride in Rancho Penasquitos in noon. My back was 70% drier than for my other pack that I used to have. And as for my back sweating, again, 70% drier. And my whole back was not drenched or soaked in my own sweat. So this really, really helped a lot. I totally recommend this bag, especially in the summer, your hikes, mountain biking, cycling, motocross, if you will. This is definitely a bag I love, especially because of the system. I cannot stress enough how much I love this system. The straps are padded and they're mesh and they do help a little bit to not have the sweat build up on your arms. and the. The padded straps do help to alleviate the pressure, which is very helpful when you're carrying a lot of weight, especially when you're hiking. So I really, really love this little, little touch of luxury to it. Now one of the issues for females is that it's pretty hard to find a pack or water reservoir that could fit a female body. And I can definitely say that this pack does take into account of the female body and the male body. Now how does that happen into one bag? The first thing I just want to say is this pack does take into account that women have these guys. So on the straps, they have these adjustable um, straps that go up and down over the ladies. So you can either use the chest strap to strap above the ladies or underneath the ladies. There is another strap right here, which is a waist strap, and it is removable by Velcro. All the straps on this pack, they come with an extra Velcro, so you can pack it away neatly when you don't need the extra length of the strap to store more stuff in your pack. So you can compress this pack and pack away your straps neatly. All of the straps have the extra Velcro so that you can fold the strap and pack it away. Now the bottom part of the pack right here. This is where you'd store your, your body armor when you're going downhill mountain biking. You can store your knee pads or your elbow pads right here. Just strap it on. Again, it has the expandable straps. Now this pack can carry a full face helmet and a cross country helmet. Now the important part, what colors does the Camelback come in? They come in Pete, which is this color, a military green, and it also comes in marigold yellow and then also a Imperial Purple. Now where can you get this pack? You could definitely look online and Google it where you can get this pack for a little bit less than how much I spent, which is 145. But I'd recommend that you go to REI. I love REI and I love that they have the guarantee system. So if you buy anything from REI, they'll back it up. If at one point or another you are not satisfied with this product, you use this product, you go down the trail with it, and it gets all dirty and you want to return it, you can. You take it into REI with your receipt and they will refund you the purchase or you can exchange it for a different bag. If you're a member of REI, which is really, really 
good to be a member of REI. You don't have to have a receipt. They can look up your name and they can look at your purchase that you've done and then they'll verify that you bought it at REI. Another peace of mind is knowing that you have an REI store to go to but you can also order online. But I prefer to get it from the store because I want it right then and there and I want to inspect it. I want to try the bag on. And so I can say that this bag does fit the female torso and it does fit the male torso. This is my husband's bag. They're the same model, but as you can see, both me and my husband both love this bag and I totally recommend this bag. So try it out the next REI store that you see. Just walk on in, try it, ask for the camel back, the model agent, and uh, try it on. Let me know what you think. Until the next video, bye.